Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Views Nope. And today I am doing a three-part mini-series on IPs, ports, and how browsers read the IP and port and keep one tab in a browser separated from another tab. That way web pages don't get mixed up. And um, a lot of people have questions about this once in a while, and hopefully this will help you out. Now, I'm not going to get into the super deep technical terms. Again, this is a light three-part series. But I'm including this into the hacking tutorials because this is a good-to-know thing if you're going to hack into something. Also, I'm going to get into a little bit on one or two things that you need to do or at least know if you're going to actually make your own browser, either mobile or maybe on your computer or within a game but still you need to know these things if you want it to work but anyways uh, let's jump on in and talk about layers so as far as what we're going to talk about uh, first off is going to be called the OSI model and basically these are seven layers that ports could be classified under so the top layer is application and that's layer 7. The next is presentation, session, transport, network, data, and physical. Again, the top ones being layer 7 and the bottom being layer 1. So the one thing I want you to look at right now is on the very top where it says data. Imagine that being a request from, say for example, if you want to go to techrefusenelp.com, it's a request going across. So basically what will happen is the data will go down to the seventh layer and a header will be added on to it. Basically a header is just additional information for that protocol at that given layer. And on each one of these, you're going to see an H at the end of it. So, for example, with the applications layer, or layer 7, it's going to say AH, so it's applications header. So, the next thing we see is the data goes down one more layer to layer 6, presentation layer. And you'll see the PH being added on to that, and the AH is carried down like the data and the uh, pH basically that's just carrying on information from layer 6 so we see that happening all the way down and what's happening is each layer is adding on information that's needed for the last layer 1 or whatever layer that we're running through so let's get into the different layers and what they do. Layer 7 is the application layer and as the name suggests it messes with the applications being a browser, um, it could be Outlook, FTB, any of that. Basically it's, um, we have protocols that interact with the specific application that the user is using. So as far as if it's a web browser, you're going to see HTTP for the protocol. If it's a FTP, then you're going to see FTP. If it's um, Outlook, you're going to probably see something like SMTP or POP3, or POP3. So going down one more layer, layer six, it's presentation. And basically, this layer basically says how the data should be presented, either images or whatever it may be. So, layer 5 is where you're going to see a uh, <clears throat> file sharing, voice over IP, dial up, things, analog modem. Uh, it's a session layer. That, that's where you're going to see that. At. So at layer 4, which is where we're going to spend a lot of time in the further videos, it's a transport layer. And basically this is a layer that's known as port addresses. And uh, for example, we're going to see an IP address, a 
192.168.1 and given that your router is a point zero then your computer might be point one if it's the first device on it and then you're going to see a port and say if it's a http the port for that will be 80 since it's a well-known port i'll get more into this in a in the next video and uh, just don't worry about that right now just know that layer four is a uh, port where the port addresses are I'm even going to give you a list of where, where all the port addresses are. Now, for layer 4, just to add something on there that's kind of important, there's two main types of transport protocols, and the first is TCP and the other one's UDP. Now, for layer 3 and that, that uh, two, two things for the port address, I'll get into that a little bit later in this video. But for layer three, this is a network. This is where your IP addresses are. And um, basically, like for, for your router, if you put in a uh, in Google Chrome or uh, Firefox, 192 point, uh, 192 period, 168 period, one period one, chances are you'll bring up your Wi-Fi router and that's a way and that's the IP address to it. Basically this is where your IP addresses are is layer 3. Now as far as layer 2 which is the data or data link this is where your MAC address is taking place. There, I'm not going to get too much into this because it's not that important for setting up a browser and knowing how the browser communicates but knowing how an internal system works especially for hacking that's where this can come in play but um that's also why i'm including these videos into the hacking tutorials but one thing to keep in mind is layer two is you can also operate layer two with and without mac addresses i'll might or might not get into this later on. Um, this is pretty easy stuff to look up. Now, as far as layer one, which is physical, these are, well, physical deals. Uh, fiber optics, uh, coax, uh, pr pretty much any physical, and also uh, wireless. Uh, even though you can't see it and it's not physical, that's considered for this layer. So if this is confusing at all then don't worry about it this is normal and just review and and look over there's a lot of information on the OSI model and uh, I suggest Wikipedia because they're it's, it's really good and again this information is kind of old but it's still gonna be current pretty much from here on out now as far as things goes uh, for these three videos what I want you to grasp out of this is this is basically uh, how two things communicate. Also, another thing I need you to grasp is there's some devices that can work at different layers. So, as far as example of this is layer 2. Switches primary operate at layer 2 and um, there's layer 3 switches. I've seen them out there, but switches primary deal with layer 2 and um, they mostly look at MAC addresses and these would be Ethernet switches. So for layer 3, this is mostly where you're going to see routers and other things like that. And the reason why that's important to note is if you do work in a career field and you hear someone say layer three problem you know it's something to deal with ip um, but that's that's what really uses it a lot of the time is is routers there's other things that use it obviously and with layer four if say for example some system administrator or maybe even software is possible but a system administrator says someone's dealing with a layer 4 problem, then they're talking mostly about a port address problem. So that's what you got to focus your attention on. So just really quick, let's highlight 
the important things. Layer 7 primarily deals with applications, web pages, um, sorry about that, browsers, Outlook, things like that. Layer 4 deals with port addresses and there's two types of things, um, TCP, UDP. Layer 3 is IP and this is mostly where routers are. Layer 2, this is where switches are. Layer 2 is the uh, primary concern about the MAC addresses, uh, switches again. Layer 1 is just concerned about getting data from one location to the next. And this is basically a lot of people reference this as a highway. The Layer 1 could be anything from copper, to radio signal to anything like that, uh, even light for fiber optics. Anyways, this has been Craig Bent, founder and owner of TechViews Nelton. And if you found this video helpful, then please check out the other parts. Again, there's two other parts to this. And um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section, and I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. And um, if I can get to it, maybe some some uh, one else can. But um, as far as things goes, this is a quote unquote light overview on some of these things with higher end technical terms on the stuff. Uh, if if uh, you're really confused about this, don't worry about it. A lot of people are on uh, on these type of models when they first come across it. And it takes a couple days to really grasp, so don't really worry about it. But um, if if you do have some problems with understanding this model, it's just watching the other two parts, and maybe that'll help. But anyways, uh, again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of TechReviews Nope. And please like, please subscribe, and please share, and please visit TechReviewsNope.com. And hope you have a great day.